How do? Chaingrave Games here, back again to look for another issue of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer. So, this will be issue 5, and in this issue, what you'll be getting is your exclusive mini. Can't buy this one in the stores or anywhere. You get it with a magazine, and that's why it's sold out on Forbidden Planet. So, let's get straight into it. Let's, uh dissect this magazine all right across the top i can go to there and get these out as well get out to the side so what you'll be getting is your issue five You'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six dice. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that'll do it for me. Pretty good roll. Um, and you'll be getting a 32 mil base. 40 mil? 40 mil, maybe. 40 mil base, I think that one is. But what we are here for is the mag... Oh, it's falling apart already. Is the magazine and the plastic crack. So, let's have a quick look at this. Just to uh, a bit closer, there we go. So yeah, that's, oh, trying to stop focusing on the background. There we go. 2022 when this model was made. It's a, a Praetor Prime. Now, you can get Praetors in, separately in a box of three, and you can make your own Praetor Prime from that. But for the, the box of three, you're going to be paying £32.50 from Games Workshop. Obviously, you're only getting the one Praetor Prime model here. So uh, divide that by three. Uh, it works out about £10.83 for a single Praetor Prime. Third party, we're spending about £24.38, I think it is. Again, divided by three, £8.12. So you could get a Praetor Prime actually cheaper than buying this magazine, but it wouldn't be a unique sculpt like this is. It'd only be like everyone else's Praetor Prime. So I guess that's what the draw is for this model. Honestly, I would have liked an Auric unique sculpt uh, rather than a Praetor, but like with Imperium Magazine, the uh, the Space Marines get their unique captain, their unique lieutenant, uh, and for Age of Sigma, you get a unique Stormcast. So, we'll uh, put them to the side and we'll have a quick look through the magazine. Oh, also forgot to say, uh, but the magazine itself costs eight ninety nine. Uh, but you can get it from Forbidden Planet for eight pound seventy two. Slight discount. You can't get this issue from Forbidden Planet anymore. It's sold out. So this issue, you'll be learning about reforging uh, the Age of Myth, Defenders and Destroyers. There's a fold out for that. Uh, you'll get your Stormcast Praetor, uh, learn how to build him, learn, oh, her, learn how to paint her, and some of the rules for her. Reforging. It is almost impossible to kill a Stormcast Eternal for good. Through the magic of reforging, they are remade in body and soul any time they die, allowing them to fight endlessly for Sigmar. Uh, although, if I'm not mistaken, in regards to the Lord. Doesn't a little bit less of the the original hero come back each time they have to get reforged? So in the end, they just become pretty much just like you know a, a an automata, uh, just fighting for the sake of fighting. Nothing left of the original uh, hero. Um, that was the post uh, to strike like lightning. The age of myth. Gift of Civilization, the Powers of Chaos. Ooh. Corn, Zinch, Nurgle, Slanesh, and the Great Horned Rat. 
Uh, yeah, obviously we don't get the Great Horned Rat in 40k. Because we don't have a uh, Space Rats in 40k. We just recently got some Space Dwarves though, so uh, maybe this year, maybe next year. Who knows? Stormcast Praetors, here we go. Praetors are bodyguards sworn to protect the greatest Stormcast champions in battle. These self-sacrificing guardians are bound to Stormcast leaders, and they work tirelessly to defend them. Each unit is led by a fearless Praetor Prime, who commands them in their duties. And then how to build? It should be simple enough. This isn't going to be a push-fit model, though. This is going to be... You know, you're going to have to use some plastic glue with this one, but if you've uh, subscribed, you got your plastic glue in this delivery, so it's all good. Yeah, fairly simple. Uh, centre model on base, yeah. There's some models, that's an absolute nightmare to do, though. Uh, Hormogons. You either need to weight the base or put them off-centre, because otherwise they're just going to keep diving about. Maybe they'll fix that with the uh, the new sculpts they're going to bring out in 10th. Yep, again, no no mention of priming. You end up just painting it and hoping the uh, you don't block up any of the details. Not sure I agree with that. Um, oh, you actually get War Scrolls now. Nice. Nice. Killer Boy's War Scrolls. You get the War Scroll for the Killer Boss and for the Gut Rippers. Brilliant. And for the Stormcast, for Praetor Prime and Vindic Vindictors. Almost called them Vindicators then. Alright, and here we go. More about the, the game rules. Hero phase, movement phase, shooting phase, charge phase, combat phase, and battle shock phase. That's interesting, because battle shock's coming in 10th edition for 40k as well. Interesting. So they're in a way they're sigmarizing 40k. I guess as the magazine goes on, I'll figure out whether I like the idea of that or not. Hmm. And here's the Defenders of the Mortal Realms pullout. Oh, also, just this is what you get in the next couple of issues. You'll be getting some Hobgrot slitters. I'll uh I'll end up building one of them for the next issue. And some more paints. Only two paints this time. That is going to be some expensive paints. Especially seeing as though I've already got them. But let's get to the pullout and have a quick nausea at that. Right. Destroyers of the Mortal Realms. Savage is just about Oryx, really. Yeah, just about the Oryx. Uh, oh no! Oh, this is about the uh, the Stormcast as well. Defenders of the Mortal Realms. So these are the two main factions you'll be collecting. You'll be collecting some of the other little factions as well, but it's mainly the uh, Oryx against the Stormcast. Now. I don't think I'll be building this one this time. Uh, because it's a unique model, I might hold off for a bit, so I won't be doing a, a speed build for this one. But if you'd like to see me build it, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've got any questions about anything else, let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you for the next magazine. Much love. And in a bit...